Hi, this is Myra. So many of you have been asking me for an update, so I decided to make a quick video tonight to share a very special date for you. Um, today is March 5th, 2019, and exactly one year ago is when I had my thyroidectomy and my thyroid cancer surgery to remove my thyroid. And as you can see, I think my scar line is right there. You can't see my scar. It's completely disappeared. So I just wanted to make a short video. First of all, really to say thank you, of course, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who walked with me through this entire journey and led me and gave me peace and love and patience through the entire process. And still, obviously, is leading me in my health journey. Um, but secondly, I wanted to thank my family and friends, of course, who walked with me through this and prayed with me and was with me along the journey. But for those of you who don't know, um, in May of 2017, so coming up on two years, I just got started feeling poorly. I had been to Singapore and then Thailand and I came back and I was really sick and I had loads of symptoms. And um, a few months later in October of 2017, I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's, which I had never even heard of. My son Andrew said maybe I was going to become a, turning into an Asian. And <laughs> I started doing research. I was just told I had an autoimmune disease and I didn't even know what that was and I was unsure why my own body was attacking my my body and I know that's not the way Jesus designed our body so clearly I was doing something wrong or eating something wrong so anyway I started with a nutritionist which led me to go to an endocrinologist and in February of 2018 so a year ago um, my endocrinologist felt some nodules, a big one right here on my my trachea, and said and biopsied it. And on Valentine's Day last year, I got diagnosed with cancer. And if you're like me and everyone in the world, when you hear you have cancer, it's a pretty emotional revelation, and it was very scary and unpleasant. But I knew that the Lord had a plan for my life, and I wasn't afraid and I just trusted that he would take me along this health journey. I ended up going to the Clayman Thyroid Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida to have my thyroidectomy. And I'm so grateful, of course, because look at it. It's amazing. I had it on March 5th. Um, crazy. I l lost my voice for two months, which those of you that know me well, was very challenging for me. I technically had low voice. You can go listen to a video of what I sounded like, but um, at the two-month mark, my voice came back. Praise the Lord. I was um, contemplating whether I needed a new career where I didn't have to talk anymore. So I um, lost my voice, and then unfortunately, I also became hypoparathyroidism because my parathyroids did not start working after surgery. So... I take loads of supplements, like 1,200 milligrams of calcium citrate every day, and magnesium, and vitamin D, and loads of others just to keep my body functioning at its peak. But I'm doing so well. I'm so grateful for everything I'm going through, and I've learned to eat well. I'm learning how to be gluten and dairy-free, and mainly on a keto diet paying attention to the needs of my body and my energy and everything that comes with Hashimoto's and being autoimmune and just completely healing it. Um, I did make a note that I had 12 blood draws <laughs> last year, so I'm hoping that 2019 will be a little bit less eventful, but I'm so grateful to all of you. I'm doing really well. Um, I tell people I'm, I'm about 80% back. Um, even my voice stays really raspy and weird. it's weird to me, although people don't really notice. Um, but I have an amazing job and coworkers and colleagues. And 
I'm now a cancer survivor and I am moving forward every day with hope and love and I just wanted to give you guys this quick update and let you know that you also can get through whatever comes your way and I love you all very much. Bye.